Uh, let's run Marnstack application. Whenever you want to uh, clone a Marnstack app and run that on your machine. So some student ask that how to run this project uh, the face with problems. So today we will just clone a project, a Marnstack project. Then we will run that on our machine. So this is an empty folder that I have opened in VS Code editor. So let's come here back to the Chrome browser and we have this project. So I will just clone down this project. So to clone it, let's simply copy this URL. Look at HTTPS, this URL, look at the top, clone using the web URL. So after copying this URL, come here to the VS Code editor and just open the terminal. After opening the terminal, so I will just open the git bash. Uh, so here I will simply write git clone and paste that URL and press e, enter. So it will clone this project now. So after cloning this project, now let's open it. So here we have backend and client, two folder. So let's move one by one to them and then we will install the dependencies. CD, first of all, we will move tomorrow stack CD, uh, for example, client. So after moving to client, now let's simply run npm install. So it will install all the dependencies. Let's wait for the installation. So the installation completed. Now let's clear it and let's move now to the uh, server side. Okay, to the backend project. <coughs> So after moving to the backend, let's run npm install. So here we will install the dependencies. Let's wait for the installation. Yeah, installation completed. So after the completion, and let's simply uh, we are at the backend. So simply write npm start. So it will start the server side, the node project. So I think we didn't just created the .env file. So let's create that at back end. So we need to create a .env file. So come here to the uh, config.js. So oops, it's .env .port. And we need to change this URL also. So controller, so here we have model, here we have routes. Let's create that env file. So inside this that env file, we will have port and uh, MongoDB URL. Just simply we have port. So let's simply write here. Port equal to with 3000. I think in front end he used 3000 port names. So let's check that. Yeah, he used 5000. So let's change this to 5000. So let's move back to the connection with database. So where he used the connection. Simply connect to Mongol URI from where he just got the report from that slash config.js yes uh, so here we will just change now this connection to our connection so I can copy the connection from this MongoDB can pass so here simply come here after creating connection with this come here and uh, copy connection string and just change this one if you are using MongoDB Atlas so then you will have a connection like this one Let's paste that on our local connection. So here, simply come here. We will just assign a database name. The database name will be uh, like to do. Just to do. Save that. Come here now. Let's now run it. Okay. NPM start. So connected to MongoDB server is running and for port 5000 so it means our server side is okay let's come here and run our front-end project also 
slash client npm run div yeah our front end project is running so let's open this url come here to the browser so look at we have book list so right now we don't have the to do database here okay so let's refresh it so look at we have this to do and we have books so right now we don't have any book in our uh, collection so let's add a book for example press this one add title uh, for example uh, that is you can be author john for example publish year 1998 let's press save button so look at the book has been added successfully and here we have the uh, this notification asked so it was how to run a project on your local machine and clone that from a uh, server site from a github sorry okay so we have cloned the project and we run that on our machine i hope you learned this so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching